we're going to start seeing more non chemotherapy based approaches being incorporated into the frontline treatment um i'm very encouraged by seeing the activity of bi specific antibodies with different targets um and car t's with different targets um in the relapse setting showing good depth of response i wouldn't be surprised if we start incorporating those approaches in clinical trials um that are not including the conventional chemotherapies or even the pis and imids um and 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 and, and testing those hypotheses can we you know just utilize um io based therapeutic approaches for patients uh, for better tolerability and better depth of response um in the frontline setting so i i find that the you know the most exciting part um i also find the fact that we are starting to do clinical trials just for high risk patients quite encouraging because i i do feel that's the subgroup of patients that really has not benefited um as much from our uh frontline therapeutic um uh trials compared to the standard risk patients you know i think that there's there's a lot of work that needs to be done over the next uh, decade or so but we have the tools uh both on the diagnostic prognostic end as well as therapeutic end um to to make uh, make things better for our patients